Customize, self-install, take control. This video guide will give you some basic tips on installing various alarm sensors and having them communicate wirelessly through your 2 gig control panel. The following information is intended as a guide and installation will require additional information and steps. However, this will help you organize the installation and provide some very useful tips. First, unpack the system and identify the system components. Determine the best centralized location for the control panel. Identify an unswitched 120 VAC power source for plugging in the control panel's power supply. Do not permanently install the control panel until the sensors and your various alarm components are installed and the panel is receiving signal from the sensors. Do not mount the control panel in a basement or closet. Mount it somewhere where it is receiving an unobstructed signal. The panel should not be visible from the outside. Next, decide on where the wireless sensors will be installed and test or trip them before permanently installing them. If you are not using a desk mount, refer to the user manual for proper wall mount instructions. Refer to your packing slip for sensor numbers and locations. Plug the backup battery connector into the connector on the control panel's circuit board. Plug the power supply into the unswitched 120 VAC wall outlet. Test the system as described in the installation and programming instructions. Now let's discuss some of the system's display screens. The home screen shows the system status with icons to indicate system conditions. It also displays the correct time and date once the panel is communicating with Alarm.com. System information scrolls along the top of the display. The home screen also displays the security and services buttons, seen here. Here are the silent control and display off buttons. With the exception of the installer's toolbox, pressing the home button will bring you back to the home screen. Here is the security screen. It shows the system status and offers three buttons for arm, menu, and status. The silent control button and the time and date are also displayed. If messages, alarm, or trouble alerts are pending, the security screen will display buttons indicating the number of pending messages or issues as shown here. This is the arming screen. It is used to arm the security portion of the system. It displays the system status and arming buttons for stay and away which you can program different settings based on when you are home or when you are away. Typically, motion sensors are not armed in stay mode, giving you the freedom to move about. Here, option check boxes for entry delay and silent exit are displayed. To arm the system without an entry delay, uncheck the entry delay checkbox. If armed without an entry delay, as soon as you enter, the alarm will sound. To arm silently without sounding the exit delay beeps, check the silent exit checkbox. Here you see the menu screen. It shows the system status and offers buttons for arm and toolbox. When all of the 24-hour emergency options are enabled, an emergency button is displayed, as seen here. In case of an emergency, this button can be pressed to send signals to fire, police, or EMS for help. There are two option checkbox buttons for chime and voice. Some of the features can be accessed using the toolbox button. The chime button enables or disables chimes for the entire system. Chimes can be independently enabled or disabled for each sensor number from the toolbox. Voice announcements will always sound during alarm conditions. Next we have the status screen. The status screen lists system status and any alerts. The date and time of alerts are listed in the displayed log, like you see here. An option button for silence is displayed. It temporarily stops the voice announcement of the system status during the status display. Lastly, let's perform a system test from the toolbox. To do this, trigger each sensor. When the panel receives the signal, a green check will show to the right of the sensor name. There are many more testing options please see the included instructions for further testing. If you have any further questions not addressed in this tutorial or in the included instructions, you can reach Link Home Security Technical Support at 1-866-853-0499. Link Home Security. Customize. Self-install. Take control.